You can't really think of any other greatest match rivalry than Australia and New Zealand. Any time that we step out on court against the green and gold, you know that these are the moments that you live for. They're the benchmark, but I relish pressure, and I back myself 100%. I guess my first introduction of that type of rivalry against Australia and New Zealand was my New Zealand under-21s debut. I was about 16 years old and we got smacked by like 25, 30 goals. Just the aura, the atmosphere, the intensity from more so the Australians than us at the time was something that you can't really replicate. You've either got to be ready for the game then and there or you're going to get smoked. Every young female growing up in New Zealand, netball was the most participated sport. And what better way than to represent your country and um, something that I've always dreamt of what I've always wanted to do. And um, I guess for me, it was always instilled in my family. I grew up watching my older sister, Viona, play and um, she introduced me into um, how amazing the game is and how much fun you can have whilst making a lot of great friends and, um, and traveling. When I first started playing, I was very young. Um, it was more of a learning environment for me. And as the Com Games have carried on throughout my career, for me to be able to play my fourth, I'm extremely blessed. And I, uh, yeah, wouldn't have it any other way. To Tyre to win it. To Tyre to win it. New Zealand has won with two seconds left on the clock. That scenario I had trained many times before and when I shoot, I don't just stand there and shoot. I always um, practice um, under fatigue or um, I do shuttles here and there and, um, and then shoot maybe 10 in a row because knowing that um, when you're playing an apple game, you don't just stand there and shoot. So you want to simulate what happens in a game into trainings as well. I pride myself on how hard I work and train and, and being diligent with everything that I do to be able to become the complete athlete that I can be for myself and for my teammates and for my country. For me, what's most important is making mum and dad proud. You know, they sacrificed a lot for me to be able to get to where I am now and every time I'm singing the national anthem and I see them in the stands singing it as well, it's my proudest moment not just what I've achieved, but what they've achieved as well. I'm very excited playing Commonwealth Games here in the Gold Coast. I love the sun. <laughs> it's always really good weather here. Beaches are really good, but I just know that the whole of New Zealand will pretty much relocate to here in Gold Coast, so I know that Australia will be putting up a very good show. Just knowing that you're at an event with the greatest athletes in the world, competing for that gold medal, but also to represent your country with a lot of pride. Australia and Glasgow, world champions and now Commonwealth champions. Glasgow was very, very tough. You never like losing to any country, not just Australia, but we took a lot of heart out of that campaign. It's anybody's ball game come Commonwealth Games. We know that everyone's preparing just as hard as what we are. It's never easy coming into Australian turf, but how awesome would it be to beat them in front of their own home crowd? To be honest, that's my driving force, and that would be a great way to finish a Com Games for me.